Welcome back to HMMSA Reads. I'm Julie Zucker, the Education Coordinator at the Holocaust Memorial Museum of San Antonio. Please check out our website at hmmsa.org for more information about the museum. Today I'd like to share with you The Whispering Town by Jennifer Elfgren, illustrated by Fabio Santomaro. This book is recommended for ages 7 to 10, and it's a gentle way to introduce the things that happened during the Holocaust without teaching the horrors of the Holocaust, which we do not recommend doing under ages sixth grade, about age 10. So The Whispering Town is based on a true story. Let's read the inside flap. Look at this great illustration, this, this girl. I wonder what she's feeling right there. It is 1943 in Nazi-occupied Denmark. Annette and her parents are hiding a Jewish woman and her son, Carl, in their cellar until a fishing boat can take them across the sound to neutral Sweden. Worried about their safety, Annette thinks of a clever and unusual plan to get them safely to the harbor. This is based on a true story. In Denmark, they saved over 90% of the Jewish population from the Nazis, which is just an incredible story. And it illustrates to me that groupthink does not have to be mob mentality. And uh, groupthink, there was also a um, a town in France that saved everyone. So there are these kinds of stories that are a beautiful way to introduce such a dark topic. The Whispering Town. Let's read a few pages. Beautiful. Just to show you the illustration. There are new friends in the cellar, Annette, Mama said when I woke up. Time to take breakfast down to them. I paused at the top of the stairs. The cellar scared me because it was dark, but the whispering voices gave me courage. When I reached the bottom, I entered the secret room where we hid the Danish Jews from the Nazis. The woman and her son sat on a cot. I'm Annette, I said, holding out the basket. Mama made you breakfast. I'm Carl. The boy took the basket and handed his mother a roll and a soft boiled egg. Thank you, she said. Back upstairs, I sat down to my own breakfast. How long will our new friends stay, I asked. Two nights, said Papa. On the third night, a boat will take them to Sweden. While they're here, we'll need more bread, Mama said. After breakfast, I walked to the bakery. We have new friends, I whispered to the baker. Give us pasta, he whispered back handing me a bulging bag. Stay safe. On the way home, I saw Nazi soldiers knock on a door across the street. Even though they had been in my town for a long time, my stomach still nodded when I saw them. Mama, Papa, soldiers across the street, I said when I came home. Mama tapped three times on the cellar door to warn our friends to be quiet. After the soldiers left, Papa looked up at the cloudy sky. No moon tonight, he said. It will be difficult for our friends to find the harbor in the darkness. The next day, I took food to the cellar again. Again, I let the whispering voices guide me down the dark stairs. This will help the time pass, I said, handing Carl some library books. He took them and smiled. I love to read. Mama, I need new books, I said. We're going to stop there today. What do you think will happen next? What will happen to the guests in the basement? Do you think there are other people that the town is hiding currently? Notice how they worked together. How can we as a society work together to make everything better and to help others? We can teach themes of empathy, diversity, love of neighbor with this type of book. I hope you'll pick up The Whispering Town, and please keep an eye out for my next HMMSA book talk. Have a great day.